Presenting the new adventures of Pinocchio. Here's Pinocchio, what a happy lad since the day he lost his string. He can walk and talk and fly. Do anything I try. He can dance, sing a tune, play a flute. Do anything I try. But never, 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 ever should he ever tell a lie. Hello there. My name is Geppetto, and I'm a wood carver. I was just thinking of something else I once carved. It was a little wooden puppet. And I called him Pinocchio. He wasn't an ordinary puppet with strings like this one. No, sir. He was a magic puppet. He could walk and jump and run without strings. But he wasn't happy being just a puppet. So he and his friend Cricket set out to find the blue fairy who could turn him into a real boy. Gee, Crick, look at that fence. I wonder what's behind it. Hey, there's a sign. What does it say, Crick? It says, uh, well, let me see. Where'd I put my reading glasses? I gotta sort this stuff out someday. So let me see. It says, United States Army Missile Testing Ground. Keep out. What are missiles? 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 Say, isn't missiles when you get sick and are covered by little red dots? This is an outrage. Now I ask you, is that gratitude, justice? Here we come along with something that will revolutionize the industry. Allow man to travel to the stars, and what do they do? They throw us out. Oh, gall and bitter wormwood. Like man, how much sharper than a serpent's tooth is an ungrateful government employee? I'll be the poetic member of this little group if you don't mind. Years slaving in a hot laboratory perfecting the modern miracle, the thing the world has been waiting for. Instant air. Well, that's the way it goes. Genius unrecognized, laughed at, ignored. Pasteur, Fulton, Edison. Excuse me, Mr. Scott. Go away, boy, you bother me. But don't you remember me? Come on, Finn. Every time we get mixed up with these two crooks, we get into trouble. Say, wait a minute. Aren't you the little wooden fellow who was looking for his magic godmother to turn him into a real boy? Well, <laughs> yes. But actually, it's the blue fairy I'm looking for. Yes, yes, of course. Say, listen, cat. I know how we can sell the government on my new invention. We'll sneak Pinocchio aboard one of these rockets with a supply of my instant air, and when he comes back, <laughs> if he comes back, it will prove my invention is a success. Uh, listen, my little leafless friend, I think I know how you can find your blue elf. Blue fairy. <laughs> Don't interrupt. Your blue fairy and become a national hero and advance the cause of science at the same time. Gee whiz, how? We're going to stow you aboard one of those rockets with a supply of my new instant air. Instant air? That's right. Instant air. Hold out your hand. But there's nothing here but air. Nothing but air. Nothing but air, he says. Ha! Like man, he's right. Hold your tongue. But don't you see that's the glory of it? Air. Oceans of it. And all for my little bottle. Just what you'll need in outer space where there isn't any usually. What do you say? I don't know, Ben. Hey. You want to be a national hero, too, don't you, my little green ant? I'm not an ant, I'm a cricket. A national hero, did you say? That's right, a national hero. Come on. Let's get out of here, Pim. That sense means keep out. Now that serves him right. Imagine instant air. Who ever heard of anything so ridiculous? Well, anyway, that electric fence put an end to Mr. Foxy's foolishness for today anyway. And our friend got away just in time. But I don't think this is the last we're going to hear about Foxy and his crazy instant air scheme. So don't you miss the next exciting story of The New Adventures of Pinocchio. Pinocchio.